The Papercast CMS is securely hosted in the cloud and can be accessed via any desktop or mobile web browser. The CMS communicates with the digital displays that it manages via cellular, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. This dashboard provides a high-level overview of all displays and can be filtered via content layout, alert type or display type, depending on whether ePaper, LCD or LED displays are being managed via the CMS. These thumbnails provide a live snapshot of what is being shown on each display and they can also be viewed on a map. The pins are coloured according to the online and deployment status of the displays. For example, the grey pins represent displays that are about to be installed. By selecting an individual display, you will gain access to a number of data points, such as the temperature, humidity, cellular signal, data usage, battery capacity, and the unique bus stop ID, which is used to publish the bus arrival data for that specific location. Having reviewed this live information, it's also possible to interrogate historical data points via the comprehensive diagnostic section of the CMS. For example, filtering for the last 30 days, you can identify any trends and make data-driven decisions based on the information provided. Here we can see the temperature, and the battery voltage glass graphs fluctuating between day and night for this solar powered display. All of this data can be exported into a CSV or image file. Alerts can be customized to notify designated stakeholders of any changes in the status of the parameters that you see here, such as the battery being at low or critical level, or the display going offline. In addition, there are various events or activities that can also be tracked and shown on this page, such as the number of button presses or text-to-speech announcements that have been activated within these given time periods. Papercasts offer a suite of apps and widgets to customise the display content, which can be accessed via this paper store. Papercasts software team can build bespoke applications over and above what you see here to meet specific customer requirements. And as the CMS is an open platform, customers are also able to create their own applications. The layout section here is where the customization is done for all content creation. If you view an e-paper display as a blank canvas on which you can scale and format the different paper store applications to any size and also to share messaging such as service disruption announcements to ultimately improve the passenger experience. All of that is done within the layout section. Here is an example of a 13 inch e-paper display showing the real time bus arrival data, a clock, as well as the weather widget. The CMS graphical user interface follows contemporary responsive web design principles, as well as guidelines from accessibility for people who are visually impaired. So for example, if you wanted to change the font and the size of the font or specific graphics that you see on this display, all of that is fully customizable and at your preference. The media library offers a repository of files from where the paper store apps and widgets pull their content to be shown on the displays. So formats can include JPEGs, PNGs, BMPs. Content is where uh, you can actually create announcements, uh, slideshows and snapshots, as you see from the titles, 
as well as tags. So announcements or ad hoc emergency messages can be created and published immediately or if preference are scheduled in advance and can be assigned to either a single display, a group of displays or all displays. Tags can be created and assigned to content such as a slideshow or announcements to enable a quick and easy means of allocating content to a specific or all displays. The content provider section is where the real-time information data feed is integrated, such as say GTFS, Siri, or if via a bespoke data protocol, we will enable that via API integration. As referenced earlier, the parameters for which if alerts are triggered can be figured based on a customer's requirements as well as who receives certain alerts via email or in the CMS dashboard. Those alert settings can be updated here as well as viewing active or historical alerts. The administration section uh, is really an expansive area to enable all configuration of the different aspects of the CMS and includes an audit trail log and granular user rights management. This concludes the high level demonstration of the Papercast CMS.